this is Daniel, and today I'm going to show how we can leverage flow to monitor incoming emails and if the subject of the email has um, the specific syntax that we're looking for, then we can go ahead and update um, existing plans in Planner and add tasks over there. Um, the flow is also smart enough to see if um, the emails that are coming in are original emails or if they are just uh, ones that are being uh, replied to. Um, so before we look at the flow, let's take a look at the planner. Um, so I'm going to go to my uh, planner. And I'll show you that I have two plans over here. Um, as you can see that in this plan, I'm looking very specifically for the syntax, which is hashtag and then five digits after that. Um, it can be anywhere in the plan name. It doesn't have to be specifically there. But what, what you want to do, though, is even if we have an existing um, planner with plans in it, um, I would recommend that you go ahead um, and just add these uh, unique uh, prefixes, maybe right at the beginning of the title, because um, that's what Flow can look at. Um, so you don't have to build, um, you know, as a going forward thing, you can actually go ahead and leverage your existing plans and just make sure that you add these unique identification points. Um, so in my um, planner, I've got these two plans. We're looking at the schedule and we can see they're all empty over here. Same thing for the other plan. Um, and its name is the hashtag 11111, and this is also empty. Um, so let's go ahead and do a demo, and then after that, we'll look at the uh, flow itself. Uh, so for the demo, I'm actually going to uh, my other outlook.com email, and I'm going to send out an email. And the email is very specifically going to the one email which flow is monitoring. And I'll say um, we need to add a new task. Or one 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 one, and uh, as a added function. And I'm doing that just so you make sure that it's it's not um, you know looking for the last six digits or anything anywhere in the uh, in the subject. And over here, I'll just put in some any any random text. Um, so we need to add this new action item to the existing. After all of that is done, I'm going to go ahead and click on send. So the email is now going out. Um, so let's go back to our flow. And in the flow, uh, I'm going to now wait and monitor to see um, the emails that are coming in. Uh, the email is coming to one very specific um, email um, account, and that's what we're monitoring over there. Uh, so right now in the flow side, I'm refreshing it, but as you can see that the email over here already came in. That email came in from the Outlook.com address. Um, its subject line was very specific. And then that was the body. So let's go back over here, refresh it, and see if the uh, flow has run. And this thing ran just two seconds. So that was the one. Um, so now let's jump back to Planner. And in the Planner over here, uh, originally there was no tasks. But if I go and refresh it, um, you can see that that's the new task that came in. And the way I set up the flow was uh, it takes the email address of the incoming email and it adds that as a task. Uh, and when I go over there, you see that it has already added the start date. And that start date is today or the incoming email, the day you receive that first email. Uh, but let's not stop over here. Um, I want to demonstrate to you that it is smart enough to actually um, notice if it's a new email or if it's a reply. So what I do is I go back to that same email that I received, uh, which is this one, and I'm going to do a reply all. And the reply all, I'll also add in uh, this one over here, which is that same email address. I say, yeah, that is a good idea. I'm glad you pointed that out. So I'm going to send that. Now, Flow, again, is monitoring this uh, specifically because there is that email address it's going out to over there. Um, but it's also, if you notice, if I send it out, that email should come to me in any second over here. Uh, when you send it out from um, the exchange as well as this uh, Outlook over here, you can see that you have the uppercase R, uppercase E, and the colon sign. So that over here is how uh, my Outlook and my exchange, that's how I get the reply over here. Um, now, when I go to the flow, um, if you refresh it, this was the old one. I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. And let's see if that flow runs. Refresh that again because it's still running.
All right, so there it came in three seconds ago. So that's the new flow. Um, but I want to look at the flow because over here, uh, what it has done is it just made sure um, that it didn't go ahead and go to this action over here um, because the the, uh, the condition was met. And I'll be looking at the condition in just a minute. But what I want to do is in the planner now, when I refresh it, you will see that no new task has been added. So that's one thing. Now let's go back um, just to further you know, demonstrate that everything works. Um, I received this email back to my um, outlook.com. So when I look at that and I say I do a reply, uh, you see how this one's reply changes the outlook.com. Its reply is an uppercase I, uh, R, lowercase e, and then the colon sign. Um, so I'm going to reply back from here. Um, and say um, um, the reason I wanted to point this out is because this is related to spell that right something something something. Now uh, the flow which I've built is smart enough to even realize that the uppercase R and the lowercase e and the colon is smart enough for that. Um, so now when I go ahead and send this, we'll see that flow is going to um, capture that because it's it sees it's monitoring that email, but it will not go ahead and update the task. So let's just go and take a look at that. Um, so I go back to the flow. I'm going to refresh to see. Um, okay, so these were the previous ones. Let's just do the whole refreshing again to see whether flow has run. I just have to do that a few times, I guess. I can see that I hear that the email came in, which means the inbound email came in, which means the flow should be finished. Um, all right, so that email came in. We can go take a look at it, see when it came from the outlook.com, the other email address, um, its reply format or syntax is different from the other reply that went out. Uh, and that's important to capture because that's something that we are looking to build the condition with. So let me refresh this once again. All right, so that one ran, um, and it's running, um, and its actions are all the exact same thing. But the key thing we want to see is um, it did not go ahead and add anything on the action side. Um, what I do want to do is also confirm that it add another task. Um, because remember, these were all replies, in fact, but this one's reply was the uppercase R, lowercase E, and um, the colon, and it did not. Um, so all in all, the flow was uh, functional the first time when a brand new email came in. It went ahead and added that task, but the other two emails were just replies, um, and the flow was smart enough to capture, um, notice that, and did not add in the task. Um, so in, in the um, blog itself, I've put in screenshots, but let me go ahead and show you what is happening. Um, so the first action is pretty simple uh, when a new email comes in, and I'm looking sp specifically at the inbox folder, not any subfolders. Um, over here, this is the variable that I'm initializing, and that variable is a string variable to capture that hashtag and the five numerical values after that. So that's just the uh, variable that I created. Um, but in this case, this is the key one. Um, I did went to go ahead and created this expression because what this expression is doing is it is going through the entire um, subject of that email, and it is saying that uh, go ahead and capture everything in that subject after hashtag, but after hashtag, I only want you to capture the six digits after that. So basically, the hashtag plus the five digits that gives me the total six uh, total total six digits. So that's the expression that I had to use, uh, and I added that to the variable. Now in the variable, that same variable I created over here, I've gone ahead and created two conditions. That condition is looking for is do I have the existing planners already? And so in this case is if it's a planner with the hashtag five ones, then go ahead and run this section. If it's a hashtag with uh, and then two uh, the, the twos after that, five twos after that, then go ahead and run this condition. Now in um, and then after that, everything else is the same. So on the condition over here, I'm looking at that as an example. Um, in that condition, there's another sub condition, which is checking to see is um, if the subject has the uppercase R, uppercase E, and, and the colon, 
or see that's why I also went ahead and did that or over here or if it has the uppercase R and the lowercase E um, if it has any of that then go ahead and ignore it that's why the yes of this condition is completely blank because I want that ignored if it is not that means that this is a genuine new email and therefore I want to go ahead and go and in my existing plan um, which was the same plan that I added over there ID um, I went ahead and created the, uh, the the title is always from the from because if you notice over here the title was the from email and then go ahead and also do the start date and time um, so that was basically the overview uh, and I just used this one as an example this side it's the exact same thing um, you know if, if it does con con uh, contain any of the replies so that is a yes if it's a yes ignore that if it is a no it is a genuine one therefore go ahead and add that over here uh, so the flow worked very well um, and in like I said uh, you can use this from uh, for a new um, you know for new plans that you've added uh, moving forward or you can go ahead and modify your existing plans thereon uh, but it worked really well and um, hope you guys can benefit from that thanks